My name is Marty, and this is Sewing Nerd Confessions. We're going to be talking about upcycling blue jeans into a jacket, which is one of my favorite subjects. I have an example of one of the jackets that I did for myself, and I have worn this jacket so many times. I've made it out of upcycled blue jeans that were gray and they were a pair of men's blue jeans. As you can see, I have the tag on here. I have a tag on the inside of the jacket on the back. I'll show you that in a minute. And I've used the pockets of the jeans here and there and some of the detail. And this jacket, I love this jacket, has so many pockets. I call it my travel jacket because Every time I'm on a plane or I go to travel, I wear this jacket because it gets cold on a plane and you always need pockets. So it's been one of my favorite makes that I've ever made before. I recently made a jacket for my daughter. Some of you have seen that video. I will pop it below in the description so that if you want to go check it out and see some of the other things that I have done in up upcycling projects, you can take a look at that. The pattern that I used for my daughter's jacket is different than this one. This is the Ilford jacket from Friday Pattern Company. The one that I used for her actually has a lining. This one, I used Hong Kong seams to finish it off with bias binding. The Thayer jacket is the one that I used and that's the one that I'm gonna be using for this project. I'll pop a better picture in so you can see it. All right, so the colors that I used for my daughter's jacket were kind of a dusty pink, pinkish purple. And so the jeans that I had to work with were gold. I didn't want that color, but I really liked the jeans because they had kind of a modeled effect. Plus they had some interesting details on it. So I had some white corduroy from my stash that I purchased specifically for the jackets I was going to make. It's very difficult to find the color corduroy that you want any time of the year. It's usually a seasonal item and then it's only like the colors that are popular that year or you know the warm tones that are typically found in corduroy. You don't always get to find the cooler tones which I prefer because uh, my colors are more cool. So. This is the color that I did for my daughter's jacket. It was gorgeous. And then I dyed the jeans and the corduroy at the same time. Dyeing fabric is not that difficult. I used RIT dye, which is, you know, basic dye you could find at Walmart or anywhere. Um, anywhere that sells dye, it's probably gonna be RIT dye. I used the liquid and um, they, RIT dye has a interesting thing on their website. They have a recipe section where you can go and you can scroll through there, see what color do I want to make, and it'll tell you exactly like one part this, two parts that, and it'll give you the recipe for whatever color you want. I will suggest, however, if you want to make a specific color, look it up ahead of time because like Walmart, um, Dick Blick, some of the art supply places, probably Hobby Lobby, sometimes even grocery stores have red dye but they only have maybe 10 different dyes and they're always black, denim blue, scarlet, wine, you know, just very yellow, sunshine yellow, whatever. So they always have the same ones that are just kind of the basic colors. So if you really want a specific color, order it ahead of time, probably gonna have to order that online. Well, then I added a pair of blue jeans that were actually brown. And so I didn't use this part of it, so I have that left over, but they had kind of an interesting worn out detail, you know, kind of that worn out look. And so the jacket turned out great. I love the jacket so much. I definitely want to make one for myself or maybe two or three. I don't know, I love jackets, what can I say? So when I was gonna ship that jacket out, I took it to work. I wanted to show one of my coworkers and another coworker asked if I would make her one. And I said I would. So that's the project I'm gonna be working on. 
and I am going to be taking you along for the fun. And I'm going to show in detail just my creative thinking process. Um, you know, I, I kind of take it for granted because I've always just been a super creative person. I was a full-time artist for a while. I love working with colors. And um, I know that not everybody, that it doesn't always come natural for everybody. So that's why I wanted to put this uh, series of videos out with my Upcycle Jacket project so that I can just kind of talk through some of the decisions I make. Um, there's not always a rhyme or reason to it, but what you do want is you want to balance, okay? It doesn't have to be symmetrical. This is not symmetrical, but I did put the larger pockets. Those are symmetrical, but what I put on the pockets is not. So this one does have the coin, Thing. And then over here, these are not the same. I use this detail from part of the jeans, but this is a square pocket. So do you see like it's balanced? There's something on both sides, but it doesn't have to be exact. Um, and so also one of the things that I did for this jacket is I didn't want it to be jarring visually. So like if I were to do a white denim, with black jean pockets. That's very a very big contrast. I wanted the contrast to be subtle. And so when I chose this, I liked the combination. The corduroy that I used here was actually vintage corduroy that I picked up at, at a garage sale from the 80s. And then the denim that I used was here. Now this section here in the down the center that's just the corduroy inside out. And I just knew that I wanted to give it like a third dimension. I wanted to give it a third color or a third texture so that, um, you know, just to jazz it up a little bit. And so sometimes when you're looking at these projects that you're being creative with, step back. As an artist, I stepped back all the time. You wanna step back from the project, you wanna look at it, uh, you know, don't be in a hurry. That's my number one advice if you're doing a creative project. Don't be in a hurry when you're doing that project. Um, step back, look at it. If you're not sure, pin the pockets on. Put it on a hanger, look at it for a week. Um, you know, move things around, take pictures of it. As you move it around, take pictures and, and then you can look at the pictures and, and say, nope, I really like that. And so it's all about balance and proportions when it comes to creative projects. Um, if you really are struggling, but you know you like one aspect of it, you start with that aspect and you put that pocket on there and you go, what can I do to make this look right? It's not that that's wrong, it's that you have to help that and make it right. And so that's kind of how I think about these projects. So. Um, the first thing that you do is you have a, maybe a color in mind. Well, I always love gray. So when I saw these gray jeans, I was like, oh, I have to have them. And so like, here's a little detail. It's kind of interesting. Uh, it says Pirate's Rock on it. And this was like stencil onto the jeans. And so I put that on the arm. Uh, but I just, I noticed that and it was really different. So that's why I went for those jeans. So you want to kind of look for something unique, something different. So when I go thrifting, the first place I look is the men's jeans because men's jeans are bigger, typically, and they're longer, typically. And so sometimes they have some really graphic details on the backs of the pockets. They have some interesting things hand painted on. And so I always look through there first. But if I'm looking for unique colors, I usually find those in the ladies section. So um, I am gonna go over my next project now that I have, and it's really gonna be a beautiful one. So like I said, she saw this jacket that I dug for my daughter and she loved it. And she loves purple. It's her favorite, favorite color. So I thought, okay. I can recreate this uh, this kind of mauvey purple color. However, it wasn't that easy because 
I remembered what dies I've used, but I also remembered that I had problems with my machine because I had never dyed anything, any fabric or any garments in my new machine. So I thought I knew, I didn't look it up. I thought I knew, oh yeah, I just have to stop it or just, you know, stop it and it'll be fine. So I stopped it to let it soak and it drained all out after so many minutes and I didn't catch it. And so I wanted it a little darker. And so then I'm frantically pouring more, more dye into the machine. And I'm like, okay, I hope this works. And it did, it, it looked great. So um, to get that same color again, I knew that it was gonna be kind of a trial and error, but I also knew that if it turned out more purple, and if it turned out a little brighter, that was okay too. And so I did, I was able to recreate this color exactly. And I put the material in and it looked so good, but I left it in longer and it turned out brighter and more purple, which was fine. It's exactly what I wanted. So not bad. And she's gonna love it because like I said, her favorite color is purple. Here's the jacket that we're gonna be doing and it has a nice collar on it, which you can use in contrasting color. One of the things that I learned about this jacket when I first did it last time was that the it doesn't have a facing. So I had to create a facing, which is fine. The lining of the coat is acts as the facing. So see that little bit right there, little tiny bit under the collar that is actually the lining on the inside of this jacket. So now that I know that, I'm gonna create a facing ahead of time because I know that um, the lining I don't want to show there. I want, you know, some kind of contrasting facing. So I got my corduroy and I've got the color dyed. Now I need to find a pair of jeans, actually two pairs of jeans. So this is the product, corduroy and two pairs of jeans equals a phenomenal jacket. That's the recipe. And then you don't have to worry about the lining ahead of time. You can get your project partway done, or if you know what kind of lining you wanna do, that's great. So this lady happened to have some silk charmeuse that she wanted to use for the inside of her jacket. Look how beautiful this is. It's just gorgeous. Oh, I absolutely love this. It's so floaty and beautiful. I'm sure I will not use all of this, but it is completely lined, so. But I want you to see how gorgeous this is with this jacket. So beautiful. Oh, all right, so I did have a pair of jeans and that were really similar in color. So here's my choices. When I, when I look for jeans with this project, I'm gonna look for something with low contrast. It's not that you can't have a high contrast, you can. It's just that I prefer to think to, for things to be in a more similar range. Okay, so this is one that's got a little more reddish tone to it, which I really like because I like mixing them up a little bit. You know how when you put pink and orange together, how interesting that looks, or green and blue together, how interesting that looks. So that's my one of my options. Here's another option, which is kind of a berry color. Um, I'm kind of liking this a little bit more just because but I wanna show you up close. I might use these, <laughs> cause look at that. It's so, so pretty. Oh, so beautiful. So um, those are two options that I have as far as something similar, all right? But I kind of thought, well, maybe I wanna do like a khaki tone, so. I got this pair here. They're actually like jean shorts that are kind of long. But look at that pocket. It's all glittery and the lady I'm making for, she likes glitter. She likes, you know, a little bit of razzle dazzle. So I love this one. So now 
I don't necessarily completely make up my mind in this pro in, in this stage. And I can do that because I have 20 pairs of jeans that I could use. Um, you know, if you're specifically going out and looking for something, you can do it one of two ways. You can dye your fabric first, or I would suggest going out and looking for the jeans first because you might find that you want to dye the jeans the same time as the corduroy like I did here, okay? And it just takes the jeans to a different level, a different color. I could easily dye these, make them a burgundy, but I like the color that they are. And so I think that that would make a really nice collar. Maybe I could use this as part of the collar. I don't know. Um, but it certainly would make nice pockets, nice breast pockets, and then the collar color, oh, yeah. So I, I start getting excited when I start putting it all together. That's the fun part. And um, I could always like introduce one of these too. So like these three, they look really good together. I like that. Here's another green. I mean, that's not, that's not the direction I wanna go. I also thought blue could be kind of fun. So like if you eliminated that blue and you did like the green and you did the blue, look how cool that is. But that's not the direction I wanna go. But there's a lot of choices. You can go a lot of different ways with color. Um, you know, if you are unsure, you know, what you wanna do is you wanna put it together and you wanna step back and you wanna take a look at it, take pictures of it. Sometimes that really helps. Um, just analyzing it for a few days. Don't be in a hurry. Number one, do not be in a hurry when you're doing a creative project because hurriedness kills creativity. Like sometimes you just have to be creative and you'll do it, but sometimes it's not what you would have ended up with. So I would say take your time on the creative projects, do something uh, maybe a little easier or a little more definite in between times, but make this a long project. That's fun. All right. Now I just, I want to go over um, what I look for when I go to a thrift store. So prime example, pockets that are interesting. So the first thing I do though, is I go straight to the men's department in the jeans because they're bigger and they have interesting pockets sometimes. I always look for the interesting pockets, the interesting tags and um, anything like hand painted or embroidered, something fun and different. Sometimes you have pin tucking on denim. I mean, it, it, you just never know what you're gonna find. <laughs> so, so this is a pair of men's jeans that I found recently. And it's uh, black, black and denim is the name. I, I love this. Look at that. Very graphic, very interesting. I'm going to make a men's jacket with this one. Just love it, really dark blue, very nice. So those are kind of the details I look for. Here's another interesting pocket, it has a flap on it. The jeans are very worn. This would be a good candidate to be over dyed and to dye it another color if you needed it. Ooh, dark green. Okay, so look at this. I really like that, where they took another color denim in the white. And another thing I use is the inside of the waistband. Sometimes that has hand painting on it. And I will take that off and I will use it on the outside of the jacket. It makes it really interesting. So I do not throw anything away when I'm working on these projects. I take the jeans apart. I put all of the um, tags any unique zippers or any unique details and I put them in a little baggie. So, and I put it in a bigger baggie all together so I have everything so when I'm actually doing the fun part of the project, I know where everything is. All right, so here's another pair and it's got the little tie detail, but look at this tag. So I got this one because it was an interesting color and it had an interesting tag on it. This one I just got because the color was different. All right, this one I got because who doesn't want this? Look at this. It's so worn and so wonderful and this has been repaired and it's got a patch behind it. Oh, 
I just love all of that detail that's all just worn. All right, here's another good example about the inside of the tag. And look at these pockets. These are men's pair. The men's pairs always seem to have interesting pockets. All right, look at these. These. This is a pair of black corduroy. It looks really shiny, but it's big and the pocket is interesting. The tag is interesting. I don't know if you guys saw my thrift haul video that I recently uploaded within the last month. In the description box, I'll also put a link to the video that I did with my other upcycled jacket, which has a lot more details and it shows all the little details of it. So, but anyway, <laughs> I got these on my last thrift haul. It's a really small size. I normally would not pick up a small size, size three. But how fun is this? It's a stretch denim and I'm gonna make a jacket and use this for the collar. I just think it's so much fun, so much fun. And look how great it looks with like a medium blue and I just love it. So cool. So. Are you guys going to get creative with me? Let me know down below if you are going to kind of go along this creative journey. But you know, if not, you can always refer back to these videos. I'm going to do a short series and walk you through how I do this jacket. So you're going to come along every step of the way. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because then you'll get notified the next time I upload a video in this series and it'll just be the Upcycle Jacket series. Thanks for watching and you know what to do. Confess your scenes down below. Bye.